and one two testing one two Hey Daryl, we didn't have no mistake. not from the state of Good morning, all. Oh, we will now have the procession of the faculty and staff of the Berkeley Institute.
I now present to you the graduating class of 2022. Graduates, please be seated. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Barclay Institute's graduation ceremony and commencement exercises for the class of 2022. Today is a celebration it's a time for looking back on lessons that have been learned, adventures shared, bright memories filled with special meaning. It's also a time of a farewell, a time for saying goodbye to old friends, to good times you've known, a time for packing away memories, treasures for tomorrow. It's also a time for a new beginning, a time for looking forward, a time to set new goals, dreams and to try wings and to see what lies behind. At this time, I would like to invite A.J. Smith, our head boy of the Barclay Institute, to the podium who will offer the prayer. Please stand. Good morning, everyone. May we please bow our heads in prayer. Our Father in heaven, as we all come before thee this day, we would like to of being able to come here this day. We would like to thank thee for all the many opportunities which thou has granted unto us. We would like to thank thee for thy love and mercy throughout these past few years. We'd like to thank thee for the dedication and perseverance which thou has blessed us with, be able to overcome all the many challenges. We'd like to thank thee for the many teachers, parents, friends, and leaders to help us to soar to new heights. As we all come before thee this day, we'd like to ask that thou would truly help us that we would feel of thy spirit. We'd like to ask that thee that thou would truly bless all the many speakers as they give their inspired talks that we'd able to feel of thy time, we'd like to ask that I would truly bless all of us, the class of 22, 
and all the many up and coming generations, that we are able to be successful in all of our many future endeavors. And these things will ask of thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you. And now we will hear from our solidarian and prefect, Callan Richardson. Thank you. Please be seated, everybody. Good morning to our honored guests, the Honorable Diala Ravain, JP MP, Acting Premier and Minister of Education, Mr. H. Anthony Richardson, JP MP. Senator Uth Darrell, JP, Junior Minister of Education. Senator Michelle Simmons, former principal of the Barclay Institute. Mrs. Kalmar Richards, Commissioner of Education and all other members of the Department of Education. Ms. Camille Smalling, Chairperson of the Board of Education. Chairman of the Barclay Educational Society, Mr. Sinclair White and other members of the Barclay Educational Society, including the family of the late Austin Thomas. Chairman of the Barclay Board of Governors, Mr. Craig Bridgewater, and other members of the Barclay Board of Governors. The Barclay Institute Principal, Ms. Keisha Douglas. Acting Principal, Mrs. Dadia Robinson, and other members of the administrative team. The Barclay Institute PTSA President, Mr. Andre Carr, represented by Ms. Michelle Squire, and other members of the PTSA. Donors of scholarships and awards, other corporate sponsors, and community representatives. Parents, teachers, class of 2022, friends, protocol now having been established, welcome. It is an honor to stand here before you to, to greet you on the occasion of our graduation ceremony. We stand poised on the threshold of tomorrow. Destiny is not a matter of chance, it is a matter of choice. And such, we do not fear the future, for we are the future, for what we have achieved, for what we will become. The high school journey for many students can be quite a journey. Add to that the journey, add to that journey, the impact of COVID-19 on the whole world over the last two and a half years. The pandemic has kept us apart for too long. I'm glad that we are now able to come together and celebrate today. One of the primary quotes that has driven me during this time at the Barclay was penned by an unknown source. Good, better, best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. I find this quote to be so powerful because it's the epitome of perseverance and striving for excellence. This quote has helped me as I endured through my advanced math classes at Bermuda College and as I began running training. It has seen me through disappointment and success on the tennis court. And this quote, which compels us to keep pushing through, speaks to finding the will and drive to take it to the next level. All of us had to have a piece of this quote in our hearts in order to reach this point of graduation from the Barclay. In order to graduate, we have to do our we best, to do our by, best attending, by attending, representing, representing and, performing. and performing. Attend the senior seminar, future Fridays, and maintain at least 95% attendance. As you move forward, whether it's in the work world or into tertiary education, attend to important matters. Represent with 80 hours of community service and co-curricular hours. Mock interviews, as well as scholarship, university, and employment applications. Those items are just the beginning. As you continue, put your best foot forward and represent in all that you do. Perform in the classroom and maintain a cumulative GPA of at least 2.5. There's a big world out there. We are not only limited to our local environment, but our reach is to the world. You're expected to perform as you carry out your duties. Going forward, we will need to take the lessons that the Barclay has taught us in order for us to excel. We must attend, we must represent, and we must perform in all that we do and do to the best of our ability. So today, as we pause to celebrate this milestone, I once again welcome everyone to this occasion. Thank you for honoring us with your presence this morning. Let us, as graduates, understand that we are pausing to celebrate, more to contribute and more to accomplish. As we step out and stand poised on the shoulder of tomorrow, let us not forget good, 
better best. Never let it rest until your good is better and your better is best. Thank you. Rest BK for them. Keep the end of view. At this time, we will sing the hymn, Lift Every Voice and Sing, accompanied by Mr. John Warridge on the piano, which is printed in your booklet. Please stand, everyone.
Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. And now we will hear from our principal, Miss Keisha Douglas. Good morning, graduates of the class of 2022. Acting Principal Robinson, administration team, faculty, staff, parents, to our acting pimp, Premier and Minister of Education, Permanent Secretary, Commissioner, and all other government ministers and senators, Chairman of the Barclay Educational Society and associated members, Chairman of the Barclay Board of Governors and fellow governors, our core sponsor, KPMG, for the Teacher of the Year Award, Ms. Wanda Armstrong, colleagues from the Ministry of Education, family, friends, community representatives, and supporters. Welcome again, everyone. A graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion. The culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. So it is only fitting that today we commemorate the road that we have all traveled together the last few years. And wow, what a few years this has been for the graduating class. They have literally had minimal time physically on campus over the past two and a half years due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. It has been a journey that started with tentative first steps, perhaps but one that has taken us to remarkable heights. Henry Ford wisely said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there was a beginning, and thankfully there was also progress, and yes, undeniably, we have been successful. But let's begin where all good stories begin, at the beginning. Who can forget when we all came together for the first time in 2018 at orientation? Then our graduates were nervous young students. We had proud parents, a supportive board of governors, and a dedicated staff body. What an awesome, exciting time it was highlighting what would be the start of wonderful things to come. Yes, we all came together with a common purpose in mind, to encourage and to develop lifelong learning in the young men and women who sit before us this morning. The end result, ladies and gentlemen, of our coming together, keeping together, and working together in spite of obstacles that, may, that we may have faced along the way is the ultimate successes of the graduating class of 2022. Let's give them a round of applause. We are incredibly proud of you. The Barclay Institute is set to celebrate 125 years as an academic institution commemorating our opening on September 6, 1897. We stand on the shoulders of our founders, and as a school, we continue to provide a rich heritage and a tradition of excellence. We are excited and honored by your presence as we celebrate the many achievements of the graduating class of 2022. The class of 2022 is comprised of 114 outstanding students who have proven that when you keep the end in view, you can achieve anything. At this time, I would like to share some of our graduation data with you. As mentioned, we have a total of 114 graduates. 35 of our graduates have been accepted at top colleges and universities. 
We have graduates that have been accepted in nearly eight universities. Eight universities. One to eight, and many falling in the two to eight bracket. These universities are in the UK, US, and Canada. Let's not forget Bermuda, our home, and our college. 48 plan on attending the Bermuda College. 12 are joining the workforce, while the remaining 19 are truly undecided at this time. It gives me great pleasure to recognize and celebrate three dual enrollment students who graduated from the Bermuda College on Thursday, May 19, 2022. Soleil Graham, our top student and valedictorian, received an Associate of Science with distinction. Soleil is the first Bermuda College student to graduate with a pre-medical science degree. She was also selected to give the Bermuda College student graduate address. Mr. Callan Richardson, our salutatorian, actuarial science. I will repeat that. Kellen Richardson, our salutatorian, received an associate of science with distinction in actuarial science. He was only 16 years old when he started the program. Jaden Anderson received a certificate in applied science technology with merit. Jaden also received the award for the most outstanding graduate at the Bermuda College in computers and programming. We also have seven students who are completing their nursing assistant certifications. Ariana Fox, Fredre Taylor, Gannett Bean, Genesis McKellen, Nalia Mitchell, and Alera Whitfield. We wish them continued success. We had 20 students receive scholarships and awards at our fifth annual scholarships and awards ceremony held this Saturday, June 25th, totaling approximately $66,500. Thank you to our sponsors and community partners for helping to offset university fees for our graduates. The Barclay families are forever grateful and we will continue to foster our strong relationships with you, our community partners. Further, our students have received numerous coveted scholarships from the private sector, from companies such as ABIC, Archery, Deloitte, PwC, Ernst & Young, Appleby, and Falco, to name a few. And most notably, our students, based on the currency of their transcript and having attended the Barclay Institute, they have received admission scholarships through the roof. So with a total of local, private, government, and administration early scholarship fees, wait for it, the class of 2022, in all my years of principal, it doesn't total this value. The value of scholarship funds received by the young people you see in front of you, one million. $514,206. Well done, students. You obviously had to show up. You had to interview. You had to present transcripts. You did this. You did this. And the Barclay Institute helped you to get there. So well done. I, I'm just 
astounded by this figure. Eight students, Soleil Graham, Callan Richardson, Abigail Frost, Nasia Burgess, Ruth Mallow Can, Jazari Talbot, Cameron Tyrrell, Isaiah Hayward will be awarded advanced honors this morning, summa cum laude. Three students, Jamie Furtado, Timothy Amias Lightborn, and Maya Dean will be awarded advanced honors, magna cum laude. Three students, David Cole, Jalen Jones, Raekwon Woolridge Butterfield will be awarded advance honors, cum laude. This is our fifth year awarding advanced honors certificates. Well done. 96 of our 114 graduates will be receiving the Barclay Institute certification having maintained a cumulative GPA of 2.25 and above. 102 of our 114 graduates will be receiving the Bermuda School Diploma, BSD, having maintained a cumulative GPA of 2.0 and above. Dual certificate, BSC, Five students will be receiving the Bermuda Alternate School Diploma, BASD, from our Functional Academics Program. We have four students who have completed their senior school career in an alternate setting at the Barclay Cultural Center and will be receiving their Penn Foster Diplomas this morning. Give them a round of applause. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Well done. Additionally, of the BSD students, three of them, Timothy Amias Lightborn, Talia Williams, and Jabari Simons, who are current S3 students, are graduating ahead of their peers a year early. We have our second cohort of students with autism. Them have brought to our school, Tristan and Darian. We have seen each of them flourish and grow personally, academically, and socially. We have been truly blessed by their presence. Our students and staff have welcomed them wholeheartedly, embraced them, supported them, and been awe-inspired by them. The success of our ASD program is one of our greatest accomplishments as a comprehensive school. The class of 2022 started out with 124 students. Unfortunately, 10 students, nine males and one female, have not met the requirements to graduate this morning alongside their peers. These students must earn additional required credits, raise their cumulative GPAs to 2.0 and above. We will always keep them in mind as they attempt to complete their senior school diploma requirements. We wish them every success as they contemplate their next steps. Some will attend summer school and others have already written in to return to the Barclay Institute. Let's give them a round of applause. We must support their efforts. We will ensure those young people that we will support them and their families until they too reach this milestone. It is our hope that we can celebrate these 10 students at a later date once they have graduated. Students, if you're out there listening and families, please keep the end in view. The class of 2022, your graduation rate is 91.9 percent. The graduating class consists of 
57 men of the years to come and 57 women of the future, representing a 50% split of the graduating class by gender. Ladies, we didn't take over the world today. <laughs> there were 66 young men in the year group. Therefore, 86% of our young men have graduated today. There were 58 young women in the year group with one not graduating. We are at 98% of our young women graduating today. <laughs> Students, graduates, successful people are not gifted. They just work hard and succeed on purpose. Thank you for being purpose driven in order to be confident as a graduate of the Barclay Institute's class of 2022. Graduates, the Flora Duffy Southfield Stadium is filled with persons who have supported your educational journey. They have witnessed the many long nights, the possible missing assignments, the emails from your teachers, the phone calls, the Zoom lessons, the black screens, the struggle, or the efficiency with which you worked. Parents and guardians, we know these last few years in particular have not been easy for our students. We salute you and we thank you for trusting us with your most prized gift, your children and our students. And Jane D. Hall said, at the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. On to our faculty and staff. Faculty and staff, and in particular, Ms. Kamara, Ms. Cindy Smith, and the S4 team. Mr. Ball, Deputy Simons, thank you for your commitment and dedication to our students. If it was not for you, parents, we demanded their best and did not accept less. Teachers, we appreciate and applaud your efforts. You never ever wavered with regards to setting high expectations for students and holding them accountable. A teacher plants the seeds of knowledge, sprinkles them with love, and patiently nurtures their growth to produce tomorrow's dreams. Again, thank you teachers and staff for everything you have done for our students for our graduates and continue to do for our school. Let's give our teachers and staff a round of applause. <laughs> Class of 2022, we will miss you, but we are extremely pleased to see you leave Barclay Days all behind you. Because we know that after you make your mark, on the local and global communities, oft as you can, you will come back again. Class of 2022, we wish you everything you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an absolute honor and a privilege watching you progress and watching your success. Congratulations once again. Go forth and continue to make us proud of your accomplishments. May you always lead by example and work hard. And in the words of Bob Marley, live the life you love 
Rest the case in them. Keep the end in view. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you, Principal Douglas. Boy, doesn't she have some oratory skill? Let's give Principal a round of applause. Boy, that's what was all done. We will now hear from our S4 prefect, who is the valedictorian of the class of 2020 with a cumulative GPA of 4.48, advanced honors, summa cum laude graduate, none other than Ms. Soleil Graham. Protocol having already been established. Good morning, everyone. I must first begin by saying how honored I am to have been selected to speak on this memorable day. I must thank my Lord, Jehovah God Almighty, for this amazing opportunity. He has more than helped me during every step of the way, and it is because of his blessings, mercy, and grace that I stand here today. Without him, I would never have been able to satisfy what was required of me at both Bermuda College and the Berkeley Institute. However, with him, I was empowered to complete both sets of requirements with excellence. The class of 2022 has overcome unpredictable and devastating odds. How was this possible? Well, we applied and wove the following elements into the fabric of our daily lives. Priority, prudence, practice, sacrifice, self-motivation, a desire for self-actualization, faithfulness, focus, a fighting spirit, tenacity, time management, and true ambition. These are the ingredients that are needed to create and prepare life's soup of success. However, none of them will suffice by being merely sprinkled in. Success in any shape or form requires spoonfuls and spades of each. But how does one define success? Many people deem themselves unsuccessful because they are unable to fit their lives and their accomplishments into the mold of another individual's definition. Because we are all different, the image of success that we have formed in our minds presents a very different picture for each of us. For this reason, it is possible for each of us to achieve in varying ways and still all be equally successful. Success is dynamic and based on the hand of cards that we each have been dealt in this life, along with our respective end goals and skill sets, looks very different for each individual. Though I was not always on the Berkeley campus, I was still able to observe the dedication of the faculty members, security, and administrative staff. At the Berkeley Institute, I can honestly say that everyone does his or her part to ensure that the school runs like a well-oiled machine. Never before had I ever seen a principal and vice principals so involved and passionate about their school and young people. Let's give a huge round of applause for Principal Douglas, Acting Principal Robinson, Deputy Simons, and Deputy Painter. I must also thank those who took the time out daily to ensure that we, the S4 students, all signed on to assemblies, attended college fairs, uploaded our respective documents to the G Drive, and met all of our graduation requirements. A warm and hearty thank you to our year head, Mrs. Kamara, and to our counselor, Mrs. Cindy Smith, for all that you have done for us. The Berkeley Institute has emphasized how to be goal-oriented. The school motto, Respike Finem, has positively impacted my mindset and has allowed me to make the wisest and most responsible choices at all times. More powerful than the school motto is a Bible verse that always helps me to see the benefit in remaining focused, especially when I would rather be sleeping than studying. <laughs> 
The verse is found twice in the book of Proverbs, both in chapter 6 and in chapter 24, and it reads, Yet a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep, so shall thy poverty come as one that traveleth, and thy want as an armed man. The sobering truth of this verse gets me up and rearing to go every time because it teaches that sleeping during work time results in everything but prosperity. I could not deliver this speech without explaining the extent to which my gratitude stretches to the Lord for what I believe, second to salvation of course, is the biggest blessing in my life, two amazing parents. My mother and father have always been there for me. They have stuck with me through the tough, challenging times, and their love and pride has remained unchanged. There was a time during my period at Bermuda College where I struggled under the weight of everything I was carrying. After sharing those details with my academic advisor, Dr. Osborne, she looked at me and asked if I was still looking to graduate in May. I say this all to say that the road to success is never a smooth one. I admonish you, class of 2022, do not get caught up and hung up on the bumps in the road. Just focus on the destination and know that the path you tread has been tread by others before you. And if not, cut and clear the trail with pride and confidence, knowing that others are looking on and being inspired by your bravery and initiative. I will leave you to meditate on a few words spoken by Steve Harvey, and I quote, do not ignore the passion that burns in you. Spend the time to discover your gift, end quote. The most important investment that you can make in your life is an investment in yourself. We have the potential to have our dreams become reality just as we have done everything required of us in order to be able to celebrate now in this ceremony, let us continue to make our wishes and aspirations happen. Yes, thanks to our hard work, we are able to say, some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. The class of 2022 has made it happen. Come on, audience, we could do much, much better than that. Well done, Soleil. I am so proud of you today. Our S4 Prefect and Student Council Vice President, Jazari Tobo, will now introduce the guest speaker. Good morning. Ms. Mahogany Bean is a newly qualified Bermudian lawyer who works at Carrie Olson Bermuda Limited across the litigation, employment, and corporate teams. Mahogany was a graduate of the Barclay Institute's class of 2014, a proud member of Greenhouse. <laughs> Following high school, Mahogany went to study at the University of Birmingham, gaining her bachelor's degree in law with criminology. Mahogany then went on to study for her master's and the bar professional training degrees. In 2019, Mahogany was called to the Bar of England and Wales, making her a member of the Honorable Society of the Inner Temple. In 2022, Mahogany was called to the Bermuda Bar, where she became a qualified barrister and attorney in Bermuda. In her free time, Mahogany enjoys traveling and experiencing new cultures, exercising, and supporting local charities and initiatives initiatives when she can. Please join me in welcoming Miss Mahogany Bean. Woo! 
So I heard that Greenhouse won this year. <laughs> if you can see at the back, my shoes are green. <laughs> With protocol already being established. Good morning, all. Class of 2022, your day has finally come. It is a true honor and pleasure to have been asked to give the graduation address, not only to you, but to your families, supporters, and to the teachers and faculty. When I was asked to give this address, I'll be honest, I racked my brain for days on what I should talk about, and then boom, it hit me. Let's unpack a statement that you've said from the very day you entered the Barclay Institute's doors. You all know the statement, respiquet for now, keep the end in view. This mission statement is second nature to you all, but have you ever stopped for a moment to think about what it actually means? Probably not, so let's do it today. Before I unpack this statement, let me tell you, the woman standing here today is certainly not the same woman who would have been standing here a few years ago. After university, I came home in 2019 and I thought getting a job would be a breeze. I was certainly wrong. I faced failures and several job rejections. This left me feeling discouraged and defeated, so bad to the point that I was thinking about giving up law altogether. But you know what got me out of my rut and how I'm able to stand in front of you today? Two words, perseverance and determination. Both are at the core of our mission statement, respiquet for NAM. When keeping the end in view, you have to be determined to achieve whatever goal you have for yourself. And it's persevering no matter how hard things get or how many rejections or failures you may face along the way. Perseverance is defined in, as persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Each of you have persevered over the course of your high school career. These past two years in this COVID world has been nothing but an uphill battle for you and your families. Having to leave school in the middle of the year to learn from home, being isolated from your friends, teachers, and some of your family was not easy for any of you. You were the first to ever complete school at home. And at some times, I'm sure there were several potholes in the road. I'm sure you felt like giving up sometimes, but you kept the end in view. And today you showed to yourselves that you were determined to graduate. Let's turn to determination which is defined as firmness, as purpose. Throughout these past two years, I'm sure some of you may have lost the motivation to log on, to study, and to complete assignments. Like me, you might have felt like giving up and saying, what's the sense? It's just high school, what do I need it for? But guess what? You're sitting here today because you set goals for yourself, you put your best foot forward and you were determined to do everything that you needed to do today to graduate. And today you're doing it and no one can take this accomplishment away from you. Just apply the same tools to life, set goals for yourself and never waver in any decisions that you make. You've proven to yourselves that you've already have everything within you to attain any goal that you set for yourself. In the face of adversity, stay determined to persevere no matter what obstacles may come along the way. Today, as you prepare to go on to different paths, when things get hard, which trust me, they will, because this is life, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. Why am I doing this? How is this gonna benefit me in the long run? Am I willing to stay committed and never give up? Am I going to let rejection or failure get in the way of what I want to achieve? Once you've answered those questions, 
get back on track to the goal at hand and keep the end in view. I want to take a moment to congratulate your families, guardians, supporters, and teachers. This journey has not been easy for you either. Parents, having to juggle doing your own work and assisting your graduate with the monumental task of having to concentrate and learn at home. Teachers, having to support your students from afar in some of the most difficult times. Without your support, these graduates would not be standing here today. And for that, I command each and every one of you. Class of 2022, I want you all to remember that you have already, you already have it in you to succeed. You've already proven this to yourselves. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I wish you nothing but the best in anything that you decide to do. And remember, when things get tough, say it with me. Rest the case for now. Keep the end in view. I couldn't hear you. Rest the case for now. Keep the end in view. Thank you. I must tell you a story of divine intervention. I was racking my brain. I was out riding my mountain bike one day after work. And I'm racking. I'm thinking to myself, how am I going to get in contact with Mahogany Bean? Okay. Who be? One, two. Okay, Mike's working now. All right, I'll retell my story. Divine intervention. Long and short, I was riding my mountain bike and I was wondering how am I gonna get in contact? <laughs> I guess that's my sign to just go on with the <laughs> Long and short, I saw at Shelly Bay Field and at I'm getting a One, two. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. As I'm getting ready to paddle over the hill at Shelly Bay, guess who I see sharing the exact same exercise heel? None other than Miss Mahogany Bean. So in that space, I was thinking about her and divine intervention, I found her on my mountain bike ride. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the Barclay Institute graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Graduates, please. Graduates, please take your places. Mr. Bridgewater, Principal Douglas. Would you and Mahogany Bean please come forward? And Acting Principal Robinson. Before I move on into the presentation, I would like to recognize the Honorable Kill Simons, Opposition Leader, uh, Ms. Anika DeShield, the Deputy Chair of the Barclay Educational Society, Senator Irvin Darrell, Assistant Director of Senior Schools, AD, Ms. Lisa De Silva. And lastly, I'd like to recognize Dr. Durand Green, the president of the Bermuda College. Take the other mic. Testing one, two. All right, that sounds better, right? All right, I can tell my story again. <laughs> All right. And it, ple it pleasures my soul to award our first graduate.
from our ASD program, Darian Peniston. Congratulations, Darian. And our second graduate from the ASD program is Tristan Purvey. <laughs> Congratulations to both Darian and Tristan. And our first graduate from the BSD program is Jaden Anderson. Jaden is receiving his BSD and Barclay certificates. He's also a dual enrollment a student at the Bermuda College who received a certificate in Applying Science Technology with Merit. He is a Silver Community Service Award winner with 85 hours. Congratulations, Jaden. Zanaye Bascom. Zanaye will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a Bronze Community Service Award winner for 50 hours of community service. She will be attending the Bermuda College in the fall to pursue an Associates of Arts degree. Gaynette Bean. Gaynette will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is a prefect and the Green House Captain. She will receive subject prizes for ESL 4 and AP Spanish 2. She's a Silver Community Service Award winner for 98 hours of community service. She will be attending the Bermuda College in the fall to pursue an Associate of Arts and Science degree. Najai B. Najai will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He is a Barclay prefect who has accumulated 332 hours of community service, which equates to a gold award. He's currently at the Bermuda College where he will go on to pursue an Associate of Applied Arts in Culinary Arts. Shy Blair Painter. Shy is our first Penn Foster graduate. And she, I must admit, is graduating one year ahead of her S3 year level. Congratulations, Shy. Kanisha Boyles. Kanisha will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is the prefect who has accumulated 105 hours of community service, which equates to a Guild Award. She has been accepted into the Bermuda College and Manchester College, where she plans to pursue caring for children. Uh, with an Associates in Arts and Science, she also received the PTSA Award in the amount of $750. And Kosi Boyles. And Kosi will receive his PSD and Barclay certificates. He's an S4 prefect who will be looking to attend the Bermuda College in September. Armani Brandy. That's an actress's name, yeah? She will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is a prefect of the Barclay Institute who will receive a subject prize for dance production. She has been accepted into the Bermuda College, the Elizabeth State College University, and Clark Atlanta University, where she plans to study elementary education. Armani has received the Devonshire Parish Council Scholarship in the amount of $4,000. Sade Bartu. Sade will receive her BSD 
and Barclays certificates. She's a Guild Community Service Award winner with 253 hours of community service. She has been accepted into Manchester College where she will study applied science. Zaya Bracho. Zaya will receive her BSD and Barclays certificates. She's a Bronze Community Service Award winner with 51 hours of service to the island. She will be attending the Bermuda College in the fall. Nasia Bridges. Nasia will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an advanced honors summa cum laude graduate. She is also the head girl of the Barclay Institute. And she is also the house captain of which house? That good house. <laughs> she is also a student council rep who is receiving subject prizes in biology four, AP two, Spanish two. She has received uh, the Cupson Award for the Art Cup, the Charles, Law Charles Lloyd Tucker Cup, the George DaCosta Silver Medal for Service, and also the Honorable Dame Lewis Brown Evans DPE MP Award. She is receiving a Silver Medal of Community Service for 70 hours of service to the island. She has been accepted into Barry University, Ohio State, North Carolina Agriculture and Technology, NCAT, whereupon she will study animal science. She has received a scholarship from Barry for $19,000 times four. That's paid for her entire duration. She has also received a, an amount or a scholarship in the amount of $76,000 from Deloitte High School Scholarship Award, which is also worth $500. That was a mouthful. Congratulations to our head girl, Nasia Burgess. Lauren Butterfield. Lauren is receiving his BSD today, and he is also a Silver Community Service Award winner for 80 hours of service to our community. Nidia Camara. Nidia is receiving her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who is receiving a Bruns Community Service Award for 64 hours of service to the island. Kiara Cheeseman. Kiara is receiving her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an S4 prefect who is going to receive a silver Community Service Award for 93 hours of service. She has been accepted into the Bermuda College, whereupon she will pursue an Associates of Arts degree in, again, early childhood education. Laquay Christopher. Laquay will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is a peer forward leader who is receiving a Silver Community Service Award for 83 hours of service. She has been accepted into the Bermuda College, the Wentworth Holt University, Georgia State Perimeter College, Clark Atlanta University, Albany State University, where she will pursue a Bachelor of Business Administration. She has also received a scholarship at Wentworth for 12,500 annually times that by four, and she is awarded a $50,000 scholarship to attend Wentworth College. Amazing. David Cool. David is receiving his PSD and Barclay certificates. He's an advanced honor graduate, cum laude. He was also an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute. He's a Bronx Community Service Award winner with 43 hours of community service. He has the option of attending the University of Howard, of Hartford, sorry, or the University of Connecticut, whereupon he will study biomedical engineering. He has also been offered a scholarship in the amount of $23,000 annually, in total to amount to $92,000 in scholarship 
funding. Chairs, Terrell. Chairs is going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He's a Silver Community Service Award winner for 80 hours of service to Bermuda, and he will be attending Bermuda College in the fall. And Shaniko Davis. And Shaniko will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He's an S4 prefect who is the vice president, a uh, vice captain, sorry, of Good House. He will be attending Bermuda College in the fall to pursue an Associate of Arts degree. He is also planning on um, participating in the workforce, whereupon he will pursue marketing. And he was also awarded the Life Through Sport Award that was worth $1,000. Vishane Davis. Vishane will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is a peer forward leader who will receive a Gold Community Service Award for 511 hours of service to Bermuda. Congratulations, Vishane. Kaylin Davis. Kaylin will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who will receive a Bruns Community Service Award for 52 hours of service to Bermuda. She has the option of attending Bermuda College in the fall. Congratulations to my niece. Diego DeFrias. Diego will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He receives a subject prize today for robotics and a Silver Community Service Award for 80 hours of service to Bermuda, and he will engage in the workforce in the fall. Maya D. Maya will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an advanced honor graduate magna cum laude. She is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who is receiving a subject prize today for VEI. She is also a community service award winner for a uh, gold winner for 205 service hours to Bermuda. She has the option of attending Nova, Sco uh, Nova Southeastern University, Miami University, Drexel University, Barry University, North Carolina Agriculture and Technical uh, State College, Central State College, Howard University, and Georgia State University. Wow. Whereupon she will pursue a degree in marketing. She also plans on attending the workforce in between scholarship wise. At Nova Scotia and Southeastern University, she was offered a scholarship in the amount of $12,000 annually for a total of $48 thousand dollars from miami university she received thirteen thousand dollars annually in the amount of fifty two thousand dollars for her duration of time at miami university if she so desires at drexel university she has been offered a scholarship in the amount of fifteen thousand times four with a total of sixty thousand dollars in scholarship money she also has another scholarship at the University of North Carolina, which is in the amount of $12,000 times four, with a total of $48,000 in the scholarship awardings. From Howard, she has been offered $15,000 annually, and she also received the Appleby Barclay Scholarship in the amount of $20,000. <laughs> Lastly, thanks for applauding so I can catch my breath. She received the PTSA scholarship in the amount of $2,750. A job well done to you, Maya D. <laughs> Taize De Silva. Taize is our second Penn Foster graduate. And I'm so pleased to see him working at AP Marine, pursuing marine mechanics. Awesome stuff, Taizé. <laughs> so 
Saleh Dyer. Saleh will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a good community service award winner for 180 hours of service to Bermuda. Micah Eve. Michael will receive his BSD diploma today and a bronze community service award for 65 hours. Desire Ford. Desire will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who will receive a Go Community Service Award for 235 hours of service to the island. She has the option of attending Manchester College where she wants to pursue a degree in childhood studies. We are definitely rubbing off on our graduates educators. Up next is Ariana Fox. Ariana will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a prefect of the Barclay Institute who will receive a Girl Community Service Award for 147 hours of service to the island. She has the option of attending the Bermuda College in the fall, where she, where she uh, plans to pursue an Associate of Arts and Science degree. <laughs> Kalia Fox Romain. Kelly is going to receive her BSD and Barclay certificates today. She is a peer forward leader who's going to receive a Bruns Community Service Award for 64 hours to the island. She is planning on participating in the workforce in the fall. <laughs> Abigail Frost, or as I call her, Frosty. She's receiving her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is an advanced summa cum laude graduate of the Barclay Institute, who is also an S4 prefect and the deputy head girl of the Barclay Institute. She's receiving subject prizes for AP English 2, AP Biology 2, AP Environmental Science 2. She is also receiving today the prefect of the year award. Yes, she has accumulated 480 hours, which equates to a good community service award. She has the option of attending the University of Lincoln, Hartbury University, or the University of Plymouth in the UK, whereupon she, like Nasia, plans to study animal and behavioral welfare. She has received the Austin David Wilson Award for English in the amount of $2,500. And finally, she has received the PTSA scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Congratulations, Abigail. Makai Ferbert. Makai is receiving his BSD diploma today. Also a Girl Community Service Award for 160 hours and he will be attending New England Institute of Technology in the fall. I'm so proud of you. Jamie, the prom king for Toto. I'm loving it. Jamie will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates today. He's an advanced honor graduate, magna cum laude, who receives subject prizes in advanced math, calculus, AP Physics 2, he's going to receive a Girl Community Service Award this morning for 119 hours of service to the island. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in September to pursue an Associate of Arts and Science degree. Darian Gibbons. Darian's going to receive his BSD certificate today a Silver Community Service Award for 83 hours of service. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in September, whereupon he looks to pursue an Associate of Applied Science degree in Motor Vehicle Technology. <laughs> Kiara Gibbons. Kiara's going to receive her BSSC certificate today, a Bruns Community Service Award for 69 hours of service to Bermuda, and finally, she will be engaging in the workforce in September. 
Zayante Gibbons, Outerbridge. Zayante will receive her BASD diploma this morning. She is a prefect at the Barclay Institute. She will receive a Silver Community Service Award for 85 hours of service. Deja Gibbs. Deja will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She receives a subject prize this morning in personal finance and also a Bruns Community Service Award for 60 hours of service to Bermuda. She intends to attend the Bermuda College in September. Good luck to you, Deja. Chance Godwin. Chance will receive her BSSC certificate this morning and also a Girl Community Service Award for 139 hours of service and she plans to engage in the workforce in September. And we heard from this dynamic young lady already, Soleil Graham, a valedictorian of the class of 2022. Soleil is going to receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She's an advanced undergraduate, summa cum laude, who's also an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute. She's a dual enrollment student at the Bermuda College in the pre-med and science with distinction, whereupon she received the graduation certificate. She's receiving the cup and award for the Barclay Governor's Award. My apologies. She's a Girl Community Service Award winner. Uh, she has the option of attending St. George's University of Madison, uh, School of Medicine, where she will pursue a degree. And lastly, she received the PTSA scholarship in the amount of $4,500. Congratulations, Soleil. Derika Grant. Derika will receive her BSD and Barclay diplomas. She's an S4 prefect who is also a peer forward leader. Derika will be attending the Bermuda College in September, where she will pursue an Associates of Arts degree. Congratulations, Derika. Shania Hack. Shania will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She will receive a Civil Community Service Award for 94 hours of service to Bermuda, and she plans on engaging in the workforce in the fall. Isaiah Hayward. Isaiah will receive his BSD and Barclay diploma, and Barclay certificate, sorry. He's an advanced honor graduate, summa cum laude. He is also an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute. He'll receive the subject prize for chemistry four. He's also receiving the S. S. Ferbert Award for academic diligence, a bronze community service award for 60 hours of service to Bermuda. He has the option of attending Bermuda College in the fall or OCAD University. Congratulations to you, Isaiah. Jada Hayward. Jada will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She is a prefect of the Barclay Institute and a peer forward leader. She receives a subject prize today for acting two. She has attained 53 hours of community service, which equates to a bronze award, and she will pursue an arts and science degree at the Bermuda College in September. T.A. Hearns. T.A. will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an S4 prefect at the Barclay Institute, and she plans on attending the University of Kent in the fall whereupon she will study law. <laughs> Nanami Ingram. <laughs> Nanami will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a prefect at the Barclay Institute who's going to receive subject prizes for preserving her heritage this morning, along with accounting too. She has accumulated 89 hours of community service for a silver award. She has the option of attending Ryerson University or the University of Waterloo in September, whereupon she will pursue a degree in business management. She has accumulated $30,000 in scholarship funding from ABIC. Congratulations to you, Nenami. 
Jalen Jones, or as I call him, JJ. JJ will receive his BSD and Barclays certificates this morning. He's an advanced honors cum laude graduate who is also the deputy head boy of the Barclay Institute, along with that other host, Gold Host Vice Captain. He's receiving the George LaCosta Silver Medal for Service this morning, also a Bronze Community Service Award for 68 hours of community service. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in the fall, whereupon he will pursue a diploma in computer networking technology. I miss my selfie, but I'm gonna get it afterwards. Kaylin Jones. <laughs> Mama, you should have seen his face when you screamed out his name just now. He's receiving a BSD certificate, a Silver Community Service Award for 83 hours of service to our island. In the fall, he'll be attending Bermuda College where he will pursue a diploma in computer networking technology. Alela Lima. Alela is our third Penn Foster graduate. Job well done, Alela. She plans on engaging in the workforce in September. Hugo Lightburn. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. <laughs> Hugo is going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He's receiving a subject prize for environmental science too. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in September, and he has also received a scholarship to do so in the amount of $10,000. Job well done to you, Hugo. Kia Lightborn. Kia will receive his BASD certificate this morning, a subject prize for FA English 4, also a community service award in the, for the amount of 80 hours, which he equates to a silver award. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in September. Timothy Lightborn. Our S3 early graduate, I'm loving it, and I'm going to miss him. Timothy is going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He is an advanced honors graduate, magna cum laude, who is also receiving a subject prize for marine science too. He has accumulated 59 hours of community service, which equates to a bronze award, and he received the Emotep. Parish Pride Award in the amount of $1,000. Joe Baldon Timothy, gonna miss you next year, buddy. Kinde Mallory. Kinde will receive Kinde will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates, a girl community service award for 120 hours of community service. We are gonna celebrate him in his absence. Kareem Marcano. Kareem will receive his BSD certificate this morning, a Girl Community Service Award for 229 hours of service to the island. In the fall, he plans to attend the Bermuda College, whereupon he will pursue an Associate of Science degree in Computer Information Systems. Congratulations, Kareem. Seth Martin. Seth will receive his BSc and Barclay certificates. He's a peer forward leader who's going to receive a subject prize in AP Calculus 2. He has the option of attending Florida Tech, Michigan State University, and or Georgia State University in the fall, whereupon he will pursue a degree in electrical engineering. From Florida Tech, he has received a scholarship in the amount of $40,000. From Michigan State University, he has received a secondary scholarship in the amount of $72,000. Lastly, he is the recipient of the presidential, uh, presidential sorry, 
study abroad scholarship in the amount of $5,000. Congratulations to you, Seth. Genesis McKellick. Jenny will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She's an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who's going to receive a subject prize for Intro to Africa. She has the option of attending Wingate University, Queens University of Charlotte, East Tennessee State University, UNC Greensboro, Gardner Webb University, Western Carolina University, Barry University, the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. The options are wide open for her to pursue a Bachelor of Arts degree in nursing. Finally, she has been awarded $116,000 in scholarship funding for Wingate. She has also received $48,000 from Queens University in scholarship funding. She has also received $12,000 annually from Barry University over a period of four years. And lastly, from Gardner Webb University, she has received scholarship funding in the amount of $54,000. Congratulations to you, Jenny. Karen, colors like it's all paid for. Isaiah McKeskey. Isaiah will receive his BSD certificate this morning. Ruth Mello Kayer. Ruth will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's an, she's an advanced honors graduate, summa cum laude, who is also an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute. She is the recipient of the Dame Marjorie Bean Respite Phenom Award. She is also a Girl Community Service Award winner for 140 hours of community service to the island. And she will be seeing, be attending um, Brigham University, Brigham Young, sorry, University in the poll. This next young lady, her smile has kept me going, especially yesterday when I was at my tiredest. Anaya Minus. Boy, doesn't she have a award winning smile. Anaya will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She is a prefect of the Barclay Institute who's going to receive a Bruns Community Service Award for 59 hours of community service to Bermuda. She'll be attending the Bermuda College in September. Zion Minus. Zion will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a prefect at the Barclay Institute who has accumulated 125 hours of community service for a good award. She will be attending UNC Greensboro in the fall to pursue a bachelor's degree in nursing. Congratulations to you, Zion. <laughs> Nalia Mitchell. Nalia will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute, who will be attending the Bermuda College in September. O'Neill Moore. Give me more. O'Neill is going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He's a prefect at the Barclay Institute who is going to receive a subject prize for Practical Math 2. He's a Bronze Community Service Award winner for 56 hours of service to our island. And he has the option of attending the Bermuda College in the fall and or the University of Kent in the UK. Congratulations to you, O'Neill. Logan Murray. Logan will receive his BSD certificate this morning, a Silver Community Service Award for 86 hours of service, and in September, he will be attending the Bermuda College. <laughs> Solomon, or Sally as I call him, Solomon O'Connor. Solomon will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. 
He is the deputy head boy of the Barclay Institute. He has the option in September of attending King's University College or the University of Toronto, where he will pursue a degree in management and organizational studies. He has he has been recipient of a scholarship in the amount of ten thousand dollars from King's University, and he has also received uh, scholarship funding for thirty thousand dollars from ABIC. Finally, he has received scholarship funding in the amount of one thousand dollars to attend the University of Toronto. Congratulations to you, Sally. Up next is Cassandra Poe. Cassie will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She has accumulated 96 hours of community service for a silver award. Joe, bow down, Cassie. Denage Painter. Zanaje will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, a, girl, a bronze community service award for 61 hours of service to our fine island. And he was the recipient of the David, the Austin David Wilson scholarship in the amount of $2,500. Zanaje. Up next is Zanaje Painter. Tanajai will receive his BSD and Barclay Certificates, a Bronze Community Service Award. He'll be attending the Bermuda College in September, where he desires to pursue an Associate of Science degree in Computer Information Systems. Congratulations to you, Tanajai. And as you can see, they are twins. So parents, I know you have double the pleasure, double the fun today. Up next is my namesake, Keyshawn Painter. All right. <laughs> Keyshawn will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He is the vice captain of the best house, this house, Green House. He has accumulated 218 hours of community service, which equates to a good award. Congratulations to you, Keyshawn. Up next is Isaiah Pearman. Isaiah will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He's a Bronze Community Service Award winner for 69 hours of service. He will be attending the Bermuda College in September, whereupon he will pursue an Associate of Science degree in Computer Information Systems. Up next is Jivian Peets. She's not here with us today, but we're going to celebrate her in her absence for attaining her BSD and Barclay certificate, for also attaining a Silver Community Service Award for 99 hours of service to Bermuda. She is going to be attending Bermuda College in September, where she looks to pursue, or she receives, sorry, a certificate in applied science technology. Alroyde Rattery. Alroyde will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, along with a Silver Community Service Award for 90 hours of service to Bermuda. Jazai Rollins. Jazai is going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He has accumulated 130 hours of service, which equates to a gold award. Congratulations to you, Josiah. Up next is Kanye Rainer Simmons. Kanye will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates, a good community service award for 110 hours of service. Up next is Destiny Richardson. She told me yesterday I better not mess up her name. She is receiving her BSD and Barclay certificates. She will be attending the Bermuda College in September to pursue an Associate of Arts and Science degree. 
Up next is Kellen Richardson. Kellen's going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He's an advanced honors graduate, summa cum laude. He was also a prefect of the Barclay Institute. He's a dual enrollment student in the actuarial science who graduated, sorry, in the actuarial science program with distinction. He's the recipient of the Dr. Kenneth E. Robinson Memorial Cup. He has accumulated a 107 hours of community service for a gold award. He has an option or the option of attending Georgia State University or St. George's University in the fall to pursue a degree in actuarial science. He has received $112,000 in scholarship funding from St. John's University as a part of his ARCH um, internship he has received $1,000 times that by 10 and you can do the math there for the scholarship earnings in, for an actuarial scholarship, he received $87,706. And he is also the recipient of the Belco Mathematics Award in the amount of $1,000. Congratulations to you, Kellen. <laughs> Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer has received her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is the S4 Prefect of the Barclay Institute who has accumulated 64 hours of service to the island for a bronze award. She will be pursuing an associate's degree of science at the Bermuda College in September. Samaya Soltos. Samaya will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She has accumulated 200, sorry, and 18 hours of community service for a gold award. She will be pursuing an Associate of Arts degree at the Bermuda College in September. Elijah Samuels. Elijah will receive his BSc and Barclay certificates. He is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who will receive subject prizes, Math App 2, and insurance. He's a Civil Community Service Award winner for 86 hours of service to the island. And he is going to attend the World Academy where he's going to pursue a marine science degree. Absolutely awesome. He has received scholarship funding from the Bermuda government uh, for assessment and training scholarship, that is, in the amount of $5,000. He is also the recipient of the AKO scholarship in the amount of $30,000. Congratulations to you, Elijah. Up next is Nazai Shakir. Nazai will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He has accumulated 135 hours for a Guild Community Service Award. He plans to pursue an Associate of Arts degree at the Bermuda College in September. Alicia Sheed. Alicia will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is going to receive a subject prize this morning for choir form. She has accumulated 73 hours of community service for a silver award. She'll be attending the Bermuda College in the fall. Wainiko Showers. Wainiko is receiving his BASD certificate this morning a Bruns Community Service Award for 57 hours. And he is also the Carroll Hill Theater Arts recipient in the amount of $1,000 of scholarship funding. Dante Signor. Dante will receive his BSD certificate this morning, a Bruns Community Service Award for 54 hours of service to our island. And he is looking to pursue an Associate of Science degree at the Bermuda College in the fall. <laughs> Kellen Simmons. <laughs> Kellen's going to receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, along with the Girl Community Service Award for 105 hours of service. He'll be attending FCV International Football Academy 
in the fall, and he looks to pursue uh, a BTAC diploma in sports in that arena. Congratulations, Callie. Andy Sarnes. Smile, Andy. Andy will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, and he is looking to pursue a certificate in wood technology at the Bermuda College. Jabari Simons, another one of my S3s who graduated one year prematurely, he is receiving his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, and he will continue to engage the Bermuda College where he will pursue an Associate of Science degree. Congratulations, Jabari. Saleh Simons. Saleh will receive her Barclay and BSD certificates this morning. She's an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute who's going to receive a subject prize for French 4. She's receiving the Granite Cup for deportment. She has the option of attending Bermuda College, the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Science, St. John's University, University of South Alabama, whereupon she plans to pursue an Associate of Science, Premier Health degree. She has received from Mass $30,000 in scholarship funding. From St. John's, $94,000 in scholarship funding. <clears throat> and she is the AKA Sorority Incorporated Academic Award, which in the, um, in the amount of $4,000. I felt like I swallowed a piece of lint, sorry guys. Okay, up next is A.J. Smith. A.J. will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He is the head boy of the Barclay Institute. He's received the leadership or the school leadership award. He's also receiving a girl community service award for 116 hours of service to the island. And he will be attending Brigham Young University in the fall. He's received $5,000 in scholarship funding from the Austin Randolph Thomas Award. Congratulations to you, our head boy, AJ. Deshaun Smith, my son from another mother. I don't know what I'm going to do about him. He is our fourth Penn Foster graduate. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you, Deshaun. Up next is Jade Smith. Jade will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, a Girl Community Service Award for 207 hours of service to our fine island. She will pursue an Associate of Science degree in pre-medical science at the Bermuda College in September. All right, Jay. Up next is Nivia Smith. Nivia will receive her BASD diploma this morning, a Girl Community Service Award for 194 hours of service to this beautiful island. She'll be attending the Bermuda College in September, whereupon she will pursue an Associate of Science degree. Oh, hairdressing, I'm sorry. Kine Hayward, Smith Hayward, let me get that right. Kine is going to receive her, BAS, her BSD and Barclay certificates, my apologies, a Bruns Community Service Award for 48 hours of service. And she, in the fall, is going to attend the Bermuda College, where she will pursue an Associates of Science degree in nursing. Congratulations, Kine. Elijah Sumner. Elijah will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates, a Bronze Community Service Award for 47 hours of service 
In the fall, he will attend the Bermuda College, whereupon he will to pursue an Associate of Science degree in Computer Information Systems. Key Andre Spencer. Job well done. He's going to leave here today with his BSD and Barclay Certificates, a Bronze Community Service Award for 40 hours of service. He has received, oh, I'm sorry, he's going to attend the Point Black Point Blank Music School, whereupon he will pursue a degree in music production and vocal performance. You think you know everyone. Congratulations to you, Keandre. <laughs> Up next is Alasia Swan. Alasia will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She's a peer forward leader who is also a prefect of the Barclay Institute. And she is the vice captain of a good house. <laughs> Alasia receives a subject prize for exploring careers in nutrition. She has accumulated 61 hours of service, which equates to a bronze award. She has the option of attending Townsend University or Delaware State University, where she plans to pursue a bachelor's degree in nursing. Congratulations, Alasia. <laughs> And before I present this young lady, I, I thought I, when I worked at Barclay, I, I was I was hired for academics. But this young lady, I think I have fixed her bike probably five times. So yeah, there's mechanic skills, there's backdoor mechanic skills, or backyard mechanic skills came in handy. Anyway, Satasia, Swan, she's received her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is an S4 prefect who is the vice captain of my favorite house, Green House. She is the recipient of the Honorable Dean Jennifer Smith, DBENP, Still I Rise Award. She is a recipient of the Community Service Award, a Silver Award for 95 hours of community service, and she'll be attending the workforce in September. So, Satasia, I know your bike's still down Front Street. After graduation, I'll have my dad pick it up on his truck. Up next is Chandre Toba. In his absence, we are going to celebrate him for acquiring his BSD certificate, a 103 hours of community service for a Guild Award, and he will be um, engaging in the workforce in September. <laughs> Jazari Toba. Jazari will receive her BSD in Barclay certificates this morning. She is an advanced honors graduate, summa cum laude. She is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute, who is also the student council vice president. In the fall, she has the options of attending Syracuse University, the University of Reading, Howard University, or the University of Sussex where she plans to pursue a degree in business media and social science. She has engaged in the internship archery program. She is also a $30,000 recipient of the ABIC scholarship award. And lastly, she received the chartered professional accountant award in the amount of $500. Congratulations to you, Jazari Toba. Kenai Toba. Kenai received his BSD and Barclay certificates, a Bronze Community Service Award for 61 hours of service to Bermuda. In the fall, well, he, has, well, he has attained sorry, a certificate of accounting technician at Bermuda College. Congratulations to you, Kenai. Sakai Tatum. All right, guy. Your mama farm where they sell those horns. <laughs> Kai will be receiving his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. He is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute, who is also the captain of Good House. He's receiving a Bruns Community Service Award this morning. 
for 42 hours of service to Bermuda. He has the option of attending the Bermuda College in September and or St. Mary's University. And he received the class of 2022 scholarship in the amount of $500. Congratulations to you, Sakai. Fredre Taylor. Fredre will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. She is the vice captain of Greenhouse. She has received a Girl Community Service Award for 132 hours of service, and she will be attending the Bermuda College in September, whereupon she endeavors to pursue an Associates of Arts and Science degree. And Jerry Thomas. And Jerry will receive her Barclay and BSD certificates this morning. She is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute, who will receive a Silver Community Service Award for 75 hours. In the fall, she will be attending Leeds City College, where she will study health and social care. Tamara Thomas. Tamaris will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates, a community service award for 160 hours of service to Bermuda. And he will be attending Uxbridge College in the fall, whereupon he will pursue a diploma in music performance and production. Leilani Trot. Leilani will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She is the student council president. And what an awesome job she has done at it. She is for a prefect of the Barclay Institute, who is also the deputy head girl of the Barclay Institute. She is receiving a subject prize for concert band two. She has received the academic achievement award, also a bronze community service award for 40 hours of service to Bermuda. In the fall, she will pursue an Associate of Science degree at the Bermuda College, and she will take along with her $1,000 in scholarship funding from the PTSA and another $1,000 from the Student Council Leadership Award. Joel Bell, done to you, Leilani. Up next is Marcus Trutt. Marcus will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates, a Bronze Community Service Award for 55 hours of service to Bermuda, and he will be attending the Bermuda College in September. Terrine Trot. Terrine will receive her BSD certificate this morning, a subject prize for String Ensemble 4. She's, she takes along with her a Bronze Community Service Award for 49 hours of service, and she will be engaging in the workforce in September. Congratulations, Terrine. Three, Tucker. Yari will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He is an S4 prefect of the, uh, of the Barclay Institute, who is also a house captain of the early house, the winning house, green house. Yari has accumulated 242 hours of community service. His tertiary education, he has a few options to attend Thomas College, the University of Guelph, whereupon he will pursue a degree in psychology. From Thomas, he receives a scholarship in the amount of $40,000, along with the University of Guelph, uh, for $2,000. Congratulations to you, Yari. Cameron Tiro. I see a dad also far where they still there's blue horns. <laughs> Cameron's going to receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She is an advanced honors graduate, summa cum laude, who is also an S prefect of the Barclay Institute. She is receiving a subject prize for writer's workshop. She has the option of attending Barry University, Virginia State University, or Morgan State in the fall, 
whereupon she intends to pursue a bachelor's of arts in television and digital media. I love it. She has been working in marketing at the Buena Gallery, and she takes along with her to Barry University, check this, 52,000 in scholarship funding at Virginia State. She takes with her, check this, $26,000 in scholarship funding. She is the recipient of the PTSA scholarship in the amount of $3,000. She is also the PWC Head Start Award E in the amount of $500. Congratulations to you, Kim. Arrow Van Dyne. <laughs> Arrow is receiving his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, along with a community service award in the amount of for the amount of 80 hours, a silver award, and he is engaging in the workforce in September. I coach him at Devonshire Coats, and I'm gonna buy him some gloves, and I'm gonna share that story with you a little bit later. He knows why. <laughs> Up next is Naye Reed Smith. Naye is going to receive her BASD certificate this morning, a subject prize in F8 Mathematics 4. She has been accepted into San Valley College, where she endeavors to pursue at the tertiary level early years of education. Congratulations to you, Naye. Cameron White. Cameron is receiving his BSD and Barclay certificates this morning, a Civil Community Service Award for 80 hours of service, and Cameron will engage in the workforce in September. Olera Whitfield. Olera will receive her BSD and Barclay certificates this morning. She, received, uh, she is an S4 prefect of the Barclay Institute. She has accumulated 47 hours of service for a bronze award, and she will be attending the Bermuda College in September. <laughs> Williams! I know her family is her from the UK. Make some noise. I was trying to surprise her. She kept asking me for tickets every single day. And I kept putting her off every single day. Telly is going to receive her BSD and Barclay certificates. Uh, she receives a subject prize for small business management, a silver community service award for 98 hours of service to Bermuda. And she will be attending the Bermuda College in September. And she is also an early graduate as an S3 student at the Barclay Institute. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jaden Williams Woodley. Jaden will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He's a prefect of the Barclay Institute who receives a subject prize for English 4, a man of my own heart. He is a Bronze Community Service Award winner for 52 hours of service to Bermuda. He has the option of attending the University of Alberta, Nottingham Trent University, or the University of Calgary whereupon he endeavors to pursue a Bachelor of Cybersecurity and Business Technology degree. From ABIC, he has received scholarship funding in the amount of $30,000. Congratulations to you, Jaden. And last but not least, Raekwon Woolwich Butterfield. Raekwon will receive his BSD and Barclay certificates. He is an advanced honors student, cum laude, who is a Bronze Community Service Award with 60 hours, 68, my apologies, hours of service, and he will be attending the Bermuda College in the fall. Graduates, please take your places. Mr. Bridgewater, I'm sorry. At this time, sorry, at this time, Mr. Craig Bridgewater, 
chairman of the Barclay Board of Governors, will offer the proclamation. Please stand. Mr. Chairman, I, pre I present to you the students who, having satisfied the requirements of the Barclay Institute for graduation, have received the diplomas for which they have prepared themselves. On behalf of the Barclay Institute Board of Governors and by the authority vested in me by the Barclay Institute Act of 1933, I now proclaim all of you who have received diplomas to be graduates of the Barclay Institute with all the rights, privileges that pertain thereto. Congratulations, and you may now turn your tassels to the right-hand side. <laughs> Thank you, Principal Douglas, and thank you, Mr. Bridgewater. Graduates. I must have been with mics this morning. Is it just me? All right, I, I guess I'm not the host with the most. All right, let's move on. <laughs> our first presentation will be made by our principal, Miss Keisha Douglas, who will present the principal's cup. Thank you, Deputy Painter. I have known this student since the very first day she entered the doors of Clearwater Middle School some seven years ago as her principal. She experienced extreme bouts of anxiety and trepidation with regards to starting middle school. The first months were very worrisome for her family and our school. Notwithstanding the aforementioned, she held it together beautifully with the support of her wonderful and loving parents and our school team. She made some new friends and joined our girls group where she performed in an African dance. The art saves lives. <laughs> She did this in front of the entire school body, and she also excelled in her classes as best she could. What a turnaround. I was awe inspired by the transformation that she made along her educational journey. Since which, we reunited at the Barclay Institute. She has blossomed as a poised and confident young lady I am so proud of her and all that she has accomplished. In particular, she is a senior prefect. Her S1 GPA was 2.74, S2, 2.81, S3, 2.91, and in S4, 3.07. What grit and determination she has. Students like her epitomize my why as an educator. This young lady will go very far in life. Continue to hold fast to your dreams as you have already demonstrated through your perseverance that nothing is impossible. Keep learning and growing. The best is yet to come. I wish you continued success. And after that mouthful, the principal cup for 2022 goes to none other than Miss Kiara Cheeseman. Well done, Kiara. You are my principal cup winner.
Thank you. Thank you, Principal Douglas, and congratulations to you, Kiara Cheeseman. At this time, we will have a musical selection by our deputy head girl and student council president, Leilani Trutt, accompanied by none other and was so gifted and fortunate to have him, Mr. John, Johnny Warwick. Leilani, a better round of applause than that, and Mr. Warich. I believe that's an original song, right, Mr. Warich? So Leilani and Mr. Warich worked on that song, which is very original. So let's let's give her a round of applause for Joel Baldon. And I will tell you, she was very nervous about having to sing that song today. So, Benjamin Sweetens her label. Our next presentation is to our guest speaker, the presenter of this vote of thanks is Abigail Frost, Deputy Head Girl of the Barclay Institute, and she will be presenting to none other than Mahogany Bean of the Class of 2014 and Greenhouse. Miss Bean, we are so appreciative that you have taken the time out of your schedule to address us this morning. Your words of encouragement will not be forgotten. You encouraged us to always persevere and remain determined, even, when to, even during difficult times, to set goals and stay committed, and finally, when things are getting hard, to keep the end in view. Please accept this gift as a small token of our appreciation.
Thank you, Abigail and Miss Marnie Bean. Next, we'll have a presentation by our deputy head boy, Solomon O'Connor, to Mr. Andrew Carr, our PTSA president. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the graduating year of 2022, I would, I would like to thank uh, the PTSA president, Mr. Andrew Carr, for reinvigorating the PTSA, hosting relevant year-level breakout sessions, and hosting various fundraisers for our scholarship of S4 students upon com commencement and graduation. Thank you. Thank you, Solomon. At this time, we will now hear the graduates' pledge delivered by Nasia Burgess, our head girl, good host captain, and a student and an S4 sorry student council representative. Graduates, please stand. Good morning. We, the Barclay Institute graduating class of 2022, commit ourselves to the unrelenting pursuit of excellence. Excellence of scholarship, excellence of leadership, excellence of citizenship, excellence of character. Our journey has brought us over the portals of this new millennium. And as with our first 124 years, Barclay and her scholars have essential roles to play in this new century. We therefore pledge our commitment to our community and affirm that our curiosity and quest for knowledge will continue undiminished. We pledge to stand as examples of excellence and to continue the legacy of our forefathers, championing sincerity and honesty voicing our outrage at injustice, bias and inequities, and celebrating and supporting the inalienable human rights of mankind. We pledge to stay true to the core values of our school. May the Barclay continue to prosper. May her beacon continue to shine. We, the class of 2022, vow to hold her flame high with pride and dignity. Long live the Barclay. Rest be kay for them. Stand in view. Thank you, Nasia. Graduates, please be seated. You wouldn't believe how many times we walked the one sitting and standing. You can see they have it down packed, right? Anyway, uh, we will now hear from Jalen Jones, deputy head boy of a good house vice captain and student council ex officio member who will give the vote of thanks.
Thank you for everyone for joining this celebration of the Barclay Institute. Your presence here today is a great source of motivation to our graduates of the Barclay Institute. On behalf of the school, I would like to congratulate the class of 2022, graduates and prize winners for leading the way in attaining many great accomplishments. Your hard work and achievements are recognized and honored by every member of the school. Sir Isaac Newton once said, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. On behalf of the graduating class of 2022, I would like to express a heartfelt thanks to the Barclay Institute for its stewardship, support, vision, and commitment. What we as graduates gain from the school, including the Barclay Educational Society, the Barclay Board of Governors, principal, administrators, teachers, staff, and classmates, is no less than from the shoulders of giants. We are grateful for educators who made the way favorable on our journey and helped us to set sail to reach further academically despite the shackles of the COVID-19 pandemic. Parents, you've cared and served us wholeheartedly. I would like to thank our parents for developing us into all-round young adults. The end of secondary school is just the beginning of our next steps. Today is just the first of many great accomplishments we hope to achieve in our lives. We will succeed with the support of our parents have given us. It is hoped that our dreams will take us to the corners of our smiles, to the highest of our hopes, to the windows of our opportunities, and to the most special places our hearts have ever known. On behalf of the class of 2022, I desire to thank Ms. Tanisha Doe and the Bark Institute Graduation Committee members, consisting of Mr. Painter, Ms. Nakia Manders, Ms. Nicole Krokwu, Ms. Key Holmes, Mrs. Hassel, Mrs. Minx, Dr. Henry Young, Ms. Tomla Dickinson, Ms. Tanil Dickinson, Mrs. Audrey Darrell, Mrs. Stowe, Mrs. Carrion Minano, Ms. Kamara, Ms. Cindy Smith, Mr. Bo, Ms. Annika Smith, Ms. Lowe, Ms. Goodman, Ms. Doors, Ms. Samuda Grant, Ms. White, Dr. Lugo, Mr. Cole, Ms. Bailey, Ms. Sonia Davis, Mr. Frederick, Dr. Grant, Ms. Hendrickson and Mr. Hayward for, accom for accommodating our parents during graduate results day and putting up with our post-COVID hangover behavior during continuing practices. I extend a special thanks to our S4 year head, Ms. Michelle Kamara, for keeping us on track to graduate via WhatsApp. <laughs> for recommending us and kicking us off the WhatsApp with inappropriate for all of the academic and behavioral interventions and for making it happen over a four year journey here at the Barclay Institute. Thanks to our S4 Deputy Principal, Mrs. Simons, and our advisor for passing us towards graduation. I also thank our S4 Counselor, Ms. Smith, for designing initiatives to promote the educational career and personal development of our senior school students. Ms. Smith, we will miss the future Fridays, senior seminars, and WhatsApp messages reminding us to fill out our scholarship application forms. On behalf of the class of 2022, I wish to thank Mr. Anthony Bull. So I wish to thank Mr. Anthony Bull for being an educational therapist and for understanding our learning challenges, patterns of behavior, and de developing workarounds to max deficits. I thank the administrative assistants, Mrs. Tolbert, Mrs. Crockwell, Ms. Woolridge, Mrs. Wilson, Ms. Knights, and Mrs. Frey for the behind the scenes work for graduation. I thank our principal, Ms. Douglas, and her administrative team the Barclay Board of Governors, and the Barclay Educational Society for their efforts to ensure that our school runs smoothly. I extend thanks to our guest speaker, Mahogany Bean, our special presenters at the scholarship and award ceremony, and our vendors, Mr. Eugene Dean and Mr. Lambert. I also spread a special thanks to Mr. Craig Terrell for allowing us to use this wonderful sporting sanctuary to facilitate our commencement ceremony. Lastly, I thank our teachers, parents, staff, and fellow students for the blessing of education that we have. Some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. The class of 2022 made it happen. Thank you. Thank you, Jalen. I'd like to invite Mrs. Wanda Armstrong to the podium. Rishi Rapon, she will present the KPMG Teacher of the Year Award 2022. Good morning. Protocol already having been established. Congratulations to the class of 2022. 
My name is Wanda Armstrong, Senior Manager, Co-Chair of the KPMG's Graduate Liftoff Program, Learning and Development. I am here to present the prestigious KPMG 2022 Teacher of the Year Award. The Teacher of the Year for the 2021-22 academic year has served the Barclay Institute over the past eight years. The recipient's contribution of true dedication, leadership, mentorship, role model, and loyalty to students have been invaluable. As students and parents mentioned, this teacher of the year goes far beyond and above their duties with a caring heart towards the great class of 2022 students and their teaching abilities. Additionally, in their role, this teacher has consistently done their best to keep students motivated, excited about school, and have been pushing the students to give their all in everything they do to achieve greatness throughout the academic years. This teacher have always done a great job at making themselves available and approachable to all students, responding quickly to emails and communicating via WhatsApp chat. Now, this is a special teacher. Their abilities and contributions are an important key to the success of the entire school's operation, growth, and success. The recipient often goes beyond interacting with students on an instru instructional level and works to make sure their physical and emotional needs are met as well. As stated from one parent, the teacher of this award taught my son and this teacher never wavered in the care and concern for my son the consistent and timely responses to my email correspondence throughout this year exhibited how truly supportive this teacher is. She offered extensions for assignments that my son was not able to submit on time, and this teacher truly extended themselves to accommodate him. In observing this teacher and their quiet demeanor, it is evident that this individual teacher has the respect of the S4 year level and not just my son, but other students attest to the fact that this teacher is an excellent teacher. Hearing from se several other students, they state, this special teacher deserves the Teacher of the Year Award because they often go up and beyond as a teacher, whether helping with your personal life situations or school academic situations. She is the best well-rounded teacher in the school and has been my personal favorite, enjoyable teacher throughout my years. Another student stated, I believe that this teacher of the year deserves the great, this great honor. From S1 all the way to S4, she has been pushing us to give our all in everything. She has gone above and beyond for the great class of 2022. I know that without her help and persistence, we would not have been able to soar to the heights that we have reached this year. In conclusion, I know she is the perfect candidate for such an award. Another student stated, this teacher of the year's presence definitely gives me the most comfort in a tough situation. I love how she always gave me reassurance and clarity for assignments and things that I didn't understand. I love how she made certain class assignments fun in a way where we are not bored out. She is, she is definitely someone that really loves being a teacher and I'm going to miss her so much. Another student stated, our teacher has had to deal with many hurdles and new responsibilities throughout the school year, and she has dealt with them perfectly. From being a great leader to having to deal with the huge responsibilities, she has done it all this year and hasn't complained once. Instead, 
she has accepted her roles and responsibilities with open arms. After reading all of the above accolades, it is a great pleasure in presenting the 2022 KPMG Teacher of the Year Award to none other than Mrs. Michelle Camara. to the class of 2022, teachers, family, uh, administration. Um, I didn't think it was possible to feel this many emotions in one way. I'm truly overwhelmed with the words that were shared. Um, it's been one of the biggest honors of my life to be your year head, to watch you grow from the young people that you were in S1 to the young adults that you're leaving today. Um, it would be selfish of me to say that I want to keep you another year or two. Um, but you've heard me say that a lot this year because you've just grown into beautiful and inspiring young people, but you must go and continue your journey, your next chapter. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you. You are my family. I miss you so much. Thank you. All right, let's give it to Ms. Kamara. Let's give it up. We can do it better. She has worked so hard. All right, folks, we are coming to the end of our ceremony. So I'm allow you folks, ladies and gentlemen, to stand and stretch a little bit and join us. Please stand and join us in singing the school song, which is printed in your booklet.
Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates will lead the professional, followed by our special guest. Thank you very much for your attendance.
Oh, no, no, no problem, no problem.